Well, hey guys, I want to talk to you about the Zoning Appeals Board meeting that happened today in Clarksburg, West Virginia City Hall. One of my uh, sister's neighbors in Jacksonville is a retired Duval County Circuit Judge who had also helped write the Zoning Code of Atlantic Beach, Florida, part of Jack's Metro. Behind their property, adjacent to their street, a developer wanted a variance to put in a bunch of townhomes. I looked and the zoning map did say that medium density was permitted there. However, there's still a requirement that at least 60% of the land be open to receive uh, absorb water. You can't put an enormous house in a large parking lot there and just let your water run out into the street into the storm drains. The judge told my sister, don't worry, this isn't going to happen. Sometimes when you do those things, you need to know who's located around you. Well, today, Chris Lane uh, of Lane Pipeline, real estate developer, asked to be able to build a second floor onto an outbuilding, which would serve as a, as a greenhouse. He wanted 12 additional feet. He got building codes for it allegedly last year and then they, they came back and said, hey, this violates the zoning code, you can't build this. So now he went before the Zoning Appeals Board to try to get variance. He and his wife presented a lot of emotional arguments about dead parents, dead family members, dead children, how it's good for their soul to garden. But quite frankly, none of that matters. The zoning code that's been in place for 50 years doesn't allow outbuildings to be that tall. The only authority that the planning or the zoning appeals board has is to rule in cases where specific details of a property are made unusable by the general principles of the zoning code. They can flex a little bit if, if the specific odd details are unfair to a specific landowner they can't just overrule the zoning code. A lot of people spoke at this meeting. Um, a lot of members of the beautification committee were there and they really just went into tall grass and, and vehicles parked on the street and things that they didn't like about what Chris Lane did to his property and how that he'd really turned what was one of Clarksburg's nicest, most historic, well-kept homes into kind of a Sanford and Son situation, allegedly. Jack Keeley stood up, you know, his wife is retired <laughs> federal judge. Another man stood up and just read from the code and, and explained how that there's no justification for granting this variance. Other people got back up and said, we acknowledge that the zoning code's the only thing that matters, but you have to consider all the things that this guy's done. And it really kind of went back and forth between people trying to stick to the law and people trying to take personal pot shots. And it's a problem that we seem to have in Clarksburg, a, a pastime of ours, is to take pot shots that are beside the point at each other. That can actually be a problem when it comes to land use because then the person can say, well, you know, you didn't make this decision strictly on the basis of law. The bigger problem is that the Zoning Appeals Board went into executive session without stating a reason. And then when they came out, the chairman, the president of the Appeals Board, announced the decision that they'd reached in private chambers. Of course, they made a formal vote afterwards, but he actually said, this is our decision that they reached in private there's only certain reasons you can go into executive session. They didn't name, they didn't state the reason. We're left to wonder is, you know, is it just the fact you have North Central West Virginia's, some of more North Central West Virginia's most wealthy, powerful, prominent people sitting in the audience? Is it because the spouse of a retired federal judge is in the audience? We don't know. And, and we shouldn't be left to guess. It appears to be an Open Meetings Act violation, and I'm not just being persnickety. The board said, why don't you go back to the Zoning, uh, Planning and Zoning Commission and, and, and ask if you can get the law reconsidered? No. 
if planning and zoning or the zoning appeals board turns you down, your recourse is to go to circuit court. Chris Lane sits on the planning and zoning board now. If they were to modify the rules to retroactively allow him to do something with his property, it opens up a whole can of worms. And as I said, one of the people speaking against it is the spouse of a retired federal judge. We need to really tighten up how we do things in Clarksburg. I'll holler at you later.